Hello viewers, uh, today Australia, 16th of November, it's a Saturday, uh, around about 7.30am in the morning. It's just a quick video for an update. Um, since uh, I posted my last video, we've had a bushfire break out uh, in our area, uh, last Tuesday night it was. And uh, the situation, that fire has is very unpredictable. It's, pardon my French, it's been a real bitch for the firefighters. Uh, down, burning down the hills and the gullies and the creeks. It was a small fire that broke out Tuesday night. I got some video footage of it roughly about an hour after it broke out. Um, with this camera, it's got night vision on it. So, uh, the official cause is arson. Uh, that's being invest still ongoing investigation about that, so that's all I'll say about that. At the moment, uh, our community here at Hampton is on high alert. Yesterday, evacuation orders were issued again for communities uh, down the mountain highway just to the east of us. We've got evacuees staying with us right now at the moment. We were evacuated from here, my home, on Wednesday afternoon. The all clear was given, we came back Thursday night. This bushfire is very unpredictable, as with all the bushfires along the east coast of Australia at the moment. Fire crews are exhausted to bring in relief crews. I believe there's relief crews coming in from Western Australia into this area today. Uh, there are New Zealand firefighters deployed somewhere in the uh, East Coast fires somewhere and I've heard but not confirmed that uh, firefighters from California are also coming over to assist somewhere along our Eastern Coast fire zones. So that's the situation at the moment. Um, the situation, uh, weather, it's, it's not favourable. It's definitely not favourable. These are unusual weather conditions for this time of year. We're getting dry, hot wind from directions we don't normally get this time of year. So that's just a quick update. Um, I've got a lot of video footage over the last few days since Tuesday night. I haven't uploaded yet. It's not really a priority. Um, we're still on high alert here in case we had to evacuate again. Um, alert evacuation warnings were issued again this morning. Um, further down the mountain road here, probably just a few kilometres for communities down that way. As firefighters uh, have been working overnight on backburns, there's been a lot of activity around here with rural fire trucks, urban fire trucks, water tankers, water bombers and that sort of thing but it, it's really no different to what's happening in the other um, fire zones along our east coast. They're burning right up and down the, the coast, uh, New South Wales, Queensland um, and they look like uh, they're already forecasting a bad fire season for Victoria and Tasmania. The conditions down that way um, through polar systems. Um, they were still getting snow a few days ago, earlier this week, I think it was. Quiet. Hey! And uh, once the summer temps uh, really kick in down there, that's, that's just a, a, another firebomb just waiting to go off. So that's the situation at the moment, viewers. Um, We've got other priorities at the moment, but as soon as we get the time, uh, I get the time, I'll uh, edit that footage. I'll probably have to do a series on it. There's a lot of video footage. So, um, conditions aren't going to change much on the weather forecast, at least, uh, for at least another seven days or so. My thanks to people who have... Uh, sent their prayers and well wishes to us on my last video we're okay at the moment uh, we may have to evacuate again depending what happens with this fire there's aircraft in the air now 
So anyway, I'll catch up with her later. And uh, that's the, uh, the latest update for us. But support the local, support your firefighters. They are running on empty. And you bring in relief teams. Don't give them a hard time. Uh, these, these men and women, either at the full front, the coal front, the fire sites, right back to the logistics comms and everything. We know people who are working with them. They are exhausted. Thanks for watching, viewers. I'll catch up later.